home cordoned off and a bloodstained chair, the grim evidence of what police allege was an attack inspired by Islamic State. It is a bit scary. Yeah, definitely scary. At 4.25 yesterday afternoon, the 56-year-old nurse was asleep inside his Mill Park home with his five-year-old daughter when the accused terrorist stabbed him in the neck. The homeowner stumbled outside calling for help after allegedly disarming the 24-year-old student of a large kitchen knife. The bleeding man was rushed to hospital, his little girl uninjured. Residents say he'd hosted other international students in the past and was the perfect neighbour. We find him very open and very giving um, and certainly he was always there for us um, and a very open, welcoming family. Police allege it was a lone wolf style attack with no further threat to the community. Bangladeshi Momina Shoma has been charged with one count of engaging in a terrorist act. She was arrested wearing a black burqa after arriving in the country 10 days ago on a student visa. She'd only moved into the house to board with the family on Wednesday. Detectives spent the day gathering evidence at the Mill Park property as well as executing another warrant at a Bandura home where Momina Shoma had previously stayed just days earlier. Witnesses described the alleged attacker as diminutive, standing barely 150 centimetres in height. Momina Shoma made no application for bail and required treatment for a cut hand, her motive yet to be determined. The investigation of the matter highlights that the threat uh, in relation to terrorism in Australia is real and it's ongoing. Hey, we're here on location at Callistamon Rise in Mill Park, which is about six and a half k k's away from our Tactical Force Combatives headquarters. About 13 minutes, uh, probably just a bit less away. What we're seeing here is we've got the Victorian Joint Counter-Terrorism Team here, as they've had an incident where a 24-year-old lady who's been in Australia for a couple of days has attempted in ISA style to behead a 56 year old gentleman who um, she was living with in uh, shared accommodation. Uh, to us this really highlights the need for these um, uh, response teams and response patrols along the streets. Um, this is a horrific incident. You know, uh, Mill Park, uh, certainly this area of Mill Park is certainly a surrounding area for us for the Crime Watch and Prevention team. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty busy. We are got reporters around the place. You know, this is a very serious incident. You know, uh, we'd like to think we could get response teams out if, if people have heard noise, that neighbours would help first, that people would contact, we could get people here start getting the authorities in, rendering first aid and helping. You know, this is absolutely unbelievable to have a terrorist attack happen so close to our home. It's absolutely frightening. Okay, so like I said, to us this highlights the absolute need for these teams. You know, it's got to be done. It's been revealed an international student had only spent one night in a volunteer's Melbourne home before allegedly stabbing him in what's suspected to be an Islamic State-inspired terror attack. Mamina Shoma allegedly attacked Roger Solomon while he was sleeping at his Mill Park home. Shoma had only just arrived in Australia on a student visa from Bangladesh. She is facing life behind bars.